In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to load imagery using three QGIS plugins, QuickMap Services, Planet Explorer, and Google Earth Engine. Plugins are necessary to this tutorial because they provide a source of reference imagery. Please keep in mind that these plugins are being continually developed and some of the steps may have changed by the time you are using this. Also, this tutorial is designed for QGIS version 3.10.10. Okay, so the first step is to load up the plugins panel. Um, and this can be found at the top of the application by going to plugins and then manage and install plugins. And after you load this up, you should see a long list of available plugins that you're able to install into QGIS. So one thing that's worth noting before we get started with this, um, these plugins are incredibly powerful and we want to provide them all as options to provide the widest source of reference data possible in QGIS. However, everything in QGIS is open source and supported by the user community, so there will occasionally be issues on individual operating systems. If you have trouble installing any plugin, um, we suggest that you instead refer to the module on collecting training data in Google Earth Engine, which has no installation requirements. So the first plugin we're going to install and use is called Quick Map Services. Um, which provides access to high-resolution base, base maps from sources such as Google and Esri. Um, this is a pretty good resource uh, that is well-maintained um, and should be considered the first or even a fallback source of reference data to use in this tutorial. Um, and the reason I say that is that the installation is ra rather straightforward um, and it will install on most operating systems without too much of a hassle. So to load the Quick Map plugin, um, in this search bar up here, search for quick map services in one word. And you'll see the second option that, that comes up here is called quick map services. You can install the plugin um, by either selecting install plugin um, or by double clicking on this on the list. I should note that there's some information on the right here, such as a link to the home page. Um, and the source code and versioning. So it will take a second or two to install. Um, and once it's done thinking, you should get a message like this up here that says plugin installed successfully. And now we can close out of this uh, box here. So this uh, plugin, it loads tiled base map imagery from the web, um, and therefore it can be found in the web drop-down menu. So we could open it by going to web and then quick map services, um, and then down here to see, search QMS or search quick map services. So we'll see this little panel that shows up over here um, in which we could search for um, a variety of base maps. Uh, by keywords. So here I'll search for satellite. And so once it's loaded, it'll get a whole bunch of um, different images with the word satellite as a keyword or in the name. Um, and you can see on the right that there are these little dots that are either green, yellow, or red. Um, which basically signals their status or availability. Um, so what we want are green or valid data sources, uh, which just means that they are currently being hosted online and are addable to our map. Um, so we can look at only valid data by selecting uh, valid up here. So where it says all, changing that to valid. And so now you'll see all of these layers here are green, um, which means that we should be able to add them all to the map if we wanted to. Um, so a couple you know, commonly used base maps, satellite base maps um, are the Esri one, the uh, Google satellite, or the Mapbox. Um, and we can either add them by either double clicking or by going to this, going to add, that'll also add it. So now we have here uh, two high-resolution base maps um, that 
we could flip between, we could decide on one to use. Um, they'll have to load as you zoom in and out. Um, so just be aware of that. And yeah, this is, we, this is a really good uh, first source of reference imagery. Um, a big downside of this though, is that we don't know the date of these imagery. Um, we just know that this is the base map is provided by these tiling services. So it's uh, a simple solution. It's pretty easy to install, uh, but it's a good first step and it's a good source to have as, you know, fallback or, you know, if you just need some basic uh, reference label where you don't care too much about um, what the date might be, if you're pretty confident that it's not, the land cover is not going to be changing over time.